So today was a day since I woke up. It was rush from the get-go. I decided that since I wasn't going to be working that many hours that I was just going to have something small to eat and I was going to go to work, come home, you know, kind of have a calm afternoon until we had to wash the dogs and, you know, just kind of have kind of day. Well, we came to find out that my mother's court date got moved and so unfortunately she wasn't able to you know she wasn't able to be seen until later which means her court date got pushed back till wednesday unfortunately that means she's going to be there till then and that's when they're going to make the decision about what's going on the therapist or clinician or whoever had a discussion with my father who basically told him almost everything. He wanted him to call him back so he could explain a little bit more, but even the doctor is afraid that she's been taking hardcore drugs, and that's probably what's affecting her. Um, that she does have problems in general, but that's what's affecting her right now and making her as paranoid and weird as she is. And I mean, that's, that's a hard pill to swallow because you don't want to think about your mom in that way. You don't want to think about all the things that could go wrong or are going wrong. And for me personally, not being able to talk to my mom has been hard because she is my mom. Of all the problems that we've had, she is still my mom. And it's like I want to be there for her. I want to try to help in the best way that I can because I love her. It's just that I I don't know at this point if I'm able to without not necessarily breaking down, but you know, having a hard time. And I'm trying to just take it one step at a time. I'm trying to know that I'm going to be okay. And I know that I'm going to need therapy. I'm going to need a lot of it. And I'm also in my head trying to tell myself that that is okay. That I don't have to worry. It doesn't mean that I'm crazy, and it doesn't mean that I can't deal. It just means that right now, I need a little help. Because I know that I do. All of this just has me... <sighs> has me upset. It has me taking on more work. It has me just wanting to run away from it all. And that is right here. He's been bathing himself and not knowing what to do. I mean, my father has been great. He's been kind and wonderful. And, you know, we've been spending time together and hanging out. And it's nice. It's just that this isn't what I'm used to. I'm used to chaos. I'm used to... Things not being as they should. And I know that it's an adjustment for me. And I just need time to work on myself and work on what I know I'm capable of. And it means taking time to find my passions again. I want to start gaming and recording. <sighs> I want to have fun. I want to do the things that I, you know, I want to do. I think just for now, I have to focus on getting help myself and taking that time. And it hurts because I want that journey. I want my mom to be there and I want her to be better, but she's not wanting to get better for me or for herself. So in the end, I don't know what she expects to do. I don't know what she thinks is going to help. 
So all I can do is what I can do. And all my dad can do is what he can do. And we're trying to get my brother to talk. But he's being elusive. So I don't know what's going to go on going forward. All I know is right now I'm so tired and worn out from everything, from running around, from everything. And I think for tonight, I just need to take what medicine I have and go to sleep. Not worry about the past, the present, the future, anything that's going to come. Because it's out of my control anyway. So just take it as is and go forward. And let this beautiful, handsome creature right here. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I hope you all have a good night. Stay safe. You. Do you. And that it all works out for you in the end. Y'all have a good night.